Bitcoin uh, is an interesting example, obviously the, the prime mover on this, um, but the transaction volume of Bitcoin is low. Yes, yeah. I played a uh, significant role in creating uh, PayPal. Um, right. And so my understanding of the, the money system at a fundamental level of how it actually works. The Top cryptocurrency investors share all. In the world of cryptocurrency, fortunes can be made overnight, and the winners of this digital lottery differ from those in previous manias. The shadowy beginnings at once anarchistic, utopian, and libertarian have drawn an odd lot of pioneers, from sports people to tech giants. Bitcoin is a digital asset and payment system with a market capitalization of around $881.85 billion as of January 3rd, 2022. It's considered by many to be one of the most successful digital currencies ever created. The first ever Bitcoin exchange traded fund, ETF, was launched in October 2021, pushing the cryptocurrency to new all-time highs. Given the growth of cryptos today, we present you the top crypto investors and their thoughts on digital currency. These are die-hard traders, and they believe that the future of currency will be all digital. Speaking of which, do you think crypto will eventually replace the dollar and other currencies used around the world? Let us know in the comments section below. For now, let's look at the wealthiest cryptocurrency investors and their secrets to success. Number 1. Barry Silbert Net worth $1.9 billion Barry Silbert is the founder and CEO of Digital Currency Group DCG, a conglomerate of five cryptocurrency-focused companies. DCG's biggest revenue generator is digital asset manager Grayscale, which oversees $28 billion worth of Bitcoin, Ether, and other assets. DCG has also invested in more than 200 crypto startups through its numerous subsidiaries. Before launching DCG, Silbert, a former investment banker, sold stock trading platform Second Market to NASDAQ in 2015 for an undisclosed amount. Silbert is one of the earlier investors in Bitcoin, having acquired the cryptocurrency for the first time in 2012. His LinkedIn profile states that he graduated from the Goizueta Business School of Emory University in 1998 with a BBA in finance. Silbert would then go on to serve as an associate at Houlihan Loki from August 1998 to January 2004. Between January 2004 and September 2008, Silbert served as Chief Executive Officer of Restricted Stock Partners. His profile on Coindesk states that he founded the company's second market in 2004. He served as the company's chairman and CEO until June 2014 and chairman until October 2015. At second market, Silbert created the Bitcoin Investment Trust, the first investment vehicle of its kind in the US. Second market seeded the trust with a $2 million investment. In March 2015, Silbert established Digital Currency Group, a company whose mission is to support blockchain and cryptocurrency companies. The investment portfolio of Digital Currency Group includes over 150 companies in more than 30 countries around the world. The portfolio comprises blockchain platforms, exchanges, network infrastructure providers, and other sectors. Some of the famous quotes by Silbert include, We're very excited about the use of blockchain, whether it's Bitcoin or not, but we're as enthusiastic as ever about Bitcoin as a global currency, and really more importantly, Bitcoin as a global financial rail. In another instance, the billionaire said, Our mission is to accelerate the development of a better financial system. It's not just development of a better Bitcoin financial system. And so we want to back the best teams who have the biggest ideas, unique solutions to big problems. Another worthwhile piece of advice from the tycoon was, people have been scared off Bitcoin by the fact that you needed to put your money in an unregulated overseas platform that has been cut off by banks and scrutinized by the Fed. We're looking to remove the pain points and create a way to invest that is faster and more secure. And finally, Silbert noted that, to be a more efficient, faster, and cheaper way to spend money around the world, you have to be able to get in and out of Bitcoin. You need to have a liquid exchange on either end of the corridor. Number 2. Michael Saylor Net worth $2.2 .2 billion Michael Saylor is the CEO of the business analytics software firm MicroStrategy. One of the best-known executives on the internet bubble, Saylor was a multi-billionaire in the late 1990s thanks to his stake in MicroStrategy. He fell from the billionaire ranks after questionable accounting led to a restatement of financial results, and the dot-com bust crashed the stock. He's a billionaire again thanks to timely Bitcoin investments. In October 2020, 
He disclosed that he personally bought 17,732 bitcoins for $175 million. Throughout 2020, he steered MicroStrategy's corporate coffers into Bitcoin, using company cash and borrowings to buy 70,784 bitcoins for $1.1 billion. A former rocket scientist, Saylor studied aeronautics and astronautics at MIT on an Air Force scholarship before founding MicroStrategy in 1989. Saylor believes that Bitcoin is the world reserve asset, whereas the dollar is the world currency. That's the main distinction between the two. Viewing Bitcoin as an asset rather than a currency also makes life easier from a regulatory perspective. All these regulations, they're really regulations restraining your use of a digital asset as a currency rather than as a property, Saylor said, adding that if you acknowledge that, it's easy to see that the future of the industry is quite bright. Saylor also addressed the issue of inflation, saying that Bitcoin would provide the best hedge against inflation. There's going to be volatility, but it seems to me that now we have universal acknowledgement that the world needs an inflation hedge, he said. So if you have Bitcoin, don't sell it. Over time, Saylor has become a fierce supporter of Bitcoin and appeared on news and cryptocurrency conferences to evangelize its benefits and use cases. By December 2021, MicroStrategy had increased its holdings in Bitcoin to $3.5 billion, swooping in to buy the cryptocurrency during price dips. The strategy has served Saylor and his company well. Here are his top five quotes. Bitcoin is a swarm of cyber hornets serving the goddess of wisdom, feeding on the fire of truth, exponentially growing even smarter, faster, and stronger behind a wall of encrypted energy. The basis of the free market is any time you can generate revenue or profit, You've created value in excess of the resources you consume in a society. That's probably the most unbiased utility function there is, as opposed to someone's opinion. There's nothing more frustrating than seeing cynics sit there and say, well, nobody can make any more money because Microsoft and Intel own everything. Is the software industry mature, or is it embryonic? I would say it's embryonic. There will be a hundred more Microsofts, not just one. It's easy to fall into the trap of assuming that new technology is very similar to its predecessors. New technology is often perceived as the linear extension of the previous one, and this leads us to believe the new technology will fill the small roles, just a little faster, or a little smaller, or a little lighter. There's a $500 trillion monetary planet, and the outer layer is currency. Then you've got stocks, bonds, real estate. There's $10 trillion worth of gold in there, $1 trillion of Bitcoin in there. Bitcoin is going to flip gold, and it's going to subsume the entire gold market cap. Number 3. Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss Net worth? $5 billion. Identical twins Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss co-founded cryptocurrency exchange Gemini in 2014. Today, it processes about $200 million a day in trades. Cameron is Gemini's president, Tyler is CEO. The former Olympic rowers are best known for accusing Mark Zuckerberg of stealing their idea for a social network. They used some of their $65 million legal settlement with the Facebook CEO to start stockpiling Bitcoin. The twins own an estimated 70,000 Bitcoins, in addition to other digital assets. In April 2013, the brothers announced they own approximately $11 million in Bitcoin through Winklevoss Capital. Some reports suggest they bought some of their Bitcoin for as little as $10 per coin. At that point, the duo was rumored to own 1% of all the Bitcoin in circulation. Shortly after that announcement, Bitcoin's price fell from $180 to $80 in a week, the first of many dips on the crypto roller coaster. The Harvard graduates announced their involvement in BitInstant, one of the first American Bitcoin exchanges. Unfortunately, Charlie Schrem, the former CEO, was later arrested and sentenced to two years in prison for operating an unlicensed money business. Prosecutors said he knowingly traded Bitcoin that had been used for illegal drug transactions and money laundering. BitInstant shut down later that year. The brothers would later sue Schrem in 2018, claiming Schrem stole Bitcoin from them. An undisclosed settlement was reached in 2019. Since the pair founded the cryptocurrency exchange Gemini, it's built a reputation as one of the safest places to buy, sell, and store cryptocurrency. It was one of the first to be licensed by the New York State Department of Financial Services, NYSDFS. This is significant because New York has some of the strictest crypto regulations in the U.S., and only a handful of platforms can operate there. Some of their memorable quotes are, 
Every investor around the world wants to invest in U.S. markets because they're regulated and they're licensed, they're trustworthy, they have confidence. If you take that away, the global economy will take a hit like nothing else. We want to create that for Bitcoin. We see Bitcoin as potentially the greatest social network of all. In our early experiences with Bitcoin, we found how few people were building Bitcoin exchanges the right way. They really weren't taking the regulation seriously. They were taking it too much like how you would approach something when you're 18, full of the excitement of youth and throwing caution to the wind. Number 4. Elon Musk. Net worth? $271 billion. Billionaire Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, often tweets about different cryptocurrencies and in doing so has seemingly impacted their prices. A few times throughout 2021, the price of an altcoin called Shiba Inu appeared to jump after Musk repeatedly posted images of his Shiba Inu puppy on Twitter. Fundamentally, Bitcoin is not a good substitute for transactional currency, Musk told Time magazine after being named Time's 2021 Person of the Year. Even though it was created as a silly joke, Dogecoin is better suited for transactions. The transaction volume of Bitcoin is low, and the cost per transaction is high, he said. Musk added that Bitcoin is more suitable as a store of value, which is why its investors wanted to hold on to it and not sell it or use it for transactions. Dogecoin, on the other hand, is a currency that encourages people to spend rather than sort of hoard as a store of value, he said. However, while Bitcoin supporters would agree that the asset is a store of value, they'd also argue that it's designed to be a sound peer-to-peer -peer financial system and could be used for transactions, citing situations like El Salvador making Bitcoin legal tender. And although Musk is clearly bullish on cryptocurrency, he doubts that it will replace fiat. I'm not a huge hater of fiat currency like many in the crypto world are, Musk told Time. Despite such big names flocking to the crypto space, nobody knows whether investing in crypto is actually an investment or mere speculation. So the suggestion is always to invest what you can afford to lose. That's all in our video today. But before we leave, would you be kind enough to tell us who is your favorite investor among the four we've profiled? Please share your feedback with us in the comment section below.